Hi there, Jamie here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I wanna to show you how to use Microsoft Whiteboard. Now Microsoft Whiteboard is one of my favorite whiteboard apps and I just wanna point out a couple of reasons why it is before I start this tutorial on Microsoft Whiteboard. First of all, I can insert documents. And what I mean by that is here's a Word document that I have inserted and I can zoom up and at any time mark different parts of it. I can do things like insert PDFs in it. I can put notes in it. I can insert PowerPoints in it, individual slides, if I, whatever ones I want, images, reactions. And I love how they have these templates built right in that you can add and then you can go ahead and work as a group. There's lots of different ones from business to education. So in this tutorial today on Microsoft Whiteboard, I wanna show you how to use all those things and let's get started now. So first of all, I wanna show you where you can access Microsoft Whiteboard. And you can use it for free with a Microsoft account, but you are gonna get more functionality out of it with a Microsoft Office 365 subscription. But I'll put a link to this page down below in the description, and you can see there is a sign in here, and there's also a download. And I am be, I'm gonna be showing you uh, how the app works on your computer, so whether it be iOS or for Windows, I am using Windows 11 today, I'll be working from that and showing the difference but it's very similar to the online version now uh, you can go ahead get signed in here as I mentioned you do need to have a Microsoft account if you don't have one you can go ahead and create one create a free one where I usually get logged in is through my office 365 uh, account so I just go ahead and get signed in and that's where I'm going to start from from in this tutorial here so I've logged into my Microsoft 365 here, and I'm gonna go ahead and access Microsoft Whiteboard. And there's a couple different ways you can get there. Uh, you can click on the app launcher in the top left and go to Whiteboard. If it's not there, you can go to All Apps, or else the other way, and I'll just go back a step, is at the very bottom where it says All Apps too. So I could click on it, and it's gonna all open up all the Microsoft apps. And Whiteboard is right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and open this up. Uh, this is all online right now. Here is the one that I was showing you when I started the video. I'm gonna go ahead and create a brand new one. It's very simple uh, to use. You're, all the other ones that you create, you don't have to save. They'll be, when you open up Whiteboard, they'll be just right here, just like this one. And you can see if I wanted to delete it, I can hit these three little dots and delete. And I'm gonna go ahead here and just create my brand new one and then I'm gonna have a blank one and right away you get to see all the features that you can add to it. But I do wanna point out before I start anything, you can also download this. Uh, so if you hit the settings menu right here, look at this, it says open in app. And if you don't have it, when you click on this, it's gonna pop this open and you can go get the Windows app. And this does work on iOS or it does work on uh, Windows. I do wanna point out at the end of this video, I'll go over how to add it to your Microsoft Teams because it will work across that product too and it's great for Microsoft Microsoft Teams to have that whiteboard in there. But you can go ahead, click on get the app, uh, open the store and install it from there. Mine says open because I already have it on. But at first, I just wanna show you on, uh, the, on this one right here, we'll do a few things and then we'll move over to the app to show you some of the differences. Uh, there are some differences, very similar, but there's a few things uh, in the uh, online one that you can do that you can't do on the app, but there's a few things that you can do on the installed out app that makes it a little bit more powerful too. So first of all, before we get started here, I wanna give this whiteboard a name and it's just right up here where it says Untitled Whiteboard. So I'm just gonna give it a simple name and type in uh, here, Demo. Just like this and I'll click off of it and you can see how quickly it changes. I wanna point out that there's home buttons here. So if I click on the home, it brings it back and here's the whiteboard I just started and then I just have to click on it and get back into it uh, very easily. Now, first thing I wanna show you is uh, just some of the things that we can uh, change and that's gonna be the background. Notice that it's a white background right now and maybe you want something different right from the start. If I go up to the settings menu right up here, uh, you can see that there's format background. So if I choose that, I can pick a different color. So if I go to the blue 
And I can also add grids. So if I wanted grids, if I was gonna be aligning things or uh, separating things in different ways, I could quickly add the grid. In my case, I'm gonna just keep it solid here. So I'm gonna close out of that. And now I just wanna talk about some of the pens here. So I'm gonna be under pens right here. So you can see inking when I click on it, it opens this up. If I go ahead and grab, uh, click on this pen, so you can see it's already selected. If I select on again, I get more options here where I can change the color. So if I wanted something in red, I could go ahead and choose red and I can change the thickness uh, by dragging this up here. Uh, you can also see how you can add arrows to the end of the drawing. So I'll do one without, I'll just draw some shapes, I'll draw some lines here and you can see how it kind of cracks a little bit. And watch this, if I draw a circle, that's not a very good circle and let go, uh, you can see how it can fix. So based on if it knows what the shape is, it automatically is kind of correcting it. Now, how is it doing that? If I go back up to the settings menu here, uh, I have this turned on. And then sometimes you notice that it uh, didn't change and sometimes it will, but I can show you another way to kind of force it to change also. Uh, so I do have this turned on on this demo here today. Now, if I go over to this here, this select tool, I can go and move these around now. I can size them differently just like that. And what I was talking about, if I select this one and notice that they have convert to shape, so I click on it, uh, it changed the shape to a cleaner look right there. Uh, I can delete the shapes, I can do a copy on these two and I can paste another one uh, on here. So I'm right clicking right now, I can paste it and I have a second shape. So you can do this, this to all the different things that you put onto it. So that was the pen tool here. And if you click on it again, you get the different colors and everything on it. We have an eraser here so you can quickly go over any top of these and it erases. Uh, we also do have our lasso so with a lasso I can select multiple ones if I draw it around and I could delete the grouping at once. And these other pens are if you notice that uh, any of these uh, are gonna be just different ones. You can choose from highlighters on that. So very simple to use when you're marking up anything that you're putting inside whiteboard. So if I go back over to here, so that was the pen and the select here. Uh, if I go to create, this is where uh, they really improved Microsoft whiteboard. So first of all, you might want to add some text. If I go and click on text, I can click on the whiteboard here and then I can put anything I want so I'll just write hello and you can notice here I can edit the text I can color pick uh, this so if I wanted it a different color I can quickly change any of this uh, going back you can copy delete uh, edit all text to add some more information to it and we can change the layering so what I mean by that if I go ahead and I'll give you a little demo here if I add a shape and notice there's all these different shapes and I'm just going to go ahead and add a triangle just like that if I put it over top it's on top if I go ahead and to this send to back notice I've changed the order so you can go ahead and change the order of shape on shape or fonts on shape or depending whatever you put in there now uh, I'm just going to go back and I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the shapes and text because it's very easy to use you can grab it you can size it differently by just stretching uh, if you don't need all this you can bring it in uh, but you can be moving it around very very quickly now uh, we do have notes so if you wanted uh, to put quick notes if I go ahead and select it you can see I could pick uh, pick a color note and add it and at this point I can add things in it so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and move this down so you can see that a little bit better I can go ahead and write in here so I can uh, put information right in here so if it's a list or anything, you can see how I can color change it, copy, delete, and all those different things that I've showed you before. And they do have they do have some note grids. So if you wanted multiple ones at a time, you can go ahead and then just select multiple ones. And as I zoom out, remember you have so much space to use with any of these. So I have a grid now, but I have six here. If I go ahead, add note, 
I can even add more of these, but I can go ahead and delete any of these time, these two. So that's adding your notes to it. I'm gonna go back here. Uh, reactions are here too. So if you're doing something that you're writing and you can share this with other people too and be working at the same time, and I will show you how to do that right after I go through the different create options, but you can add reactions. So the reactions allow you to, uh, if you're working together and let's say if somebody if you're doing a vote or maybe you wanted to star an idea uh, put a star next to the idea so if I go select this I can they can add stars next to the note that they find uh, the best so you can do some uh, quick assessment uh, from what people are thinking but you can take a look at the different reactions that you can add uh, we do have images that we can add so if I click on images I can upload from my computer so if I just go and grab I'll just grab this image of me here I can put it on, I can size it, I can move it around, and again, take a look at the different options. I can copy them, paste it, bring it front to back. So images are quick to bring in. Now, the next part of the things I really like about this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna delete, uh, I'm just gonna delete some of these here. Oh, I didn't grab them all here, so I'll just delete uh, these ones here. I'm just gonna clean my, uh, my canvas up but if I go and look at templates now templates are great because it has a lot of workflows in this uh, so if I go uh, let's say if you wanted a brainstorming idea uh, if you wanted learning so if you're a teacher and you use this on maybe your active board or smart board or maybe you have online learning to do uh, they have some learning ones so if you're doing a compare and contrast exit ticket you can see the KWL there's all these different ones so if I was picking compare and contrast and I just go ahead and select it and drop it in we have this already created for us now I can zoom up and I could be moving things around. Now they put in some, just some uh, information about the Venn diagram. You can edit all this and give it a title to what you want. So now if you needed uh, something taken out of here, you could bring it in over. So uh, you could be using this. I just love how this, they have all these things set up and they have a lot of different ones already set up for you. Uh, and you can see, you can zoom right up into it. You can click on these, you can add text to these uh, very quick just like uh, I've showed you before and have all the same options use your pens on it so that uh, to me that template is a big time saver I'm gonna go back again here and the last thing I just want to show you before I uh, just change over to the uh, online for the downloaded version that I have is just in documents and this is what I really like so if I go to documents I can grab things like PDFs or PowerPoints in here uh, so to give it an example if I go to my files here and let's grab a PDF if I go and grab this PDF right here, and it's gonna pop up depending, again, how big the file is, it might take a second or so in here. Uh, you can see all the pages that are on here. I can select what pages I want to put in. So if I have uh, three pages, you can see three of 20, and I hit insert here and I get these three pages added and I can move them around in different areas if I want. So now I could zoom up at any time and zoom right up you can see how the everything stays clear and i could be going through uh, maybe highlighting certain parts of it i could be marking up showing them uh, different things on it and you can do this with other documents too so maybe you have a lot of pdfs i could go back to my or sorry powerpoints i could go back to my files here and uh, pick a powerpoint to use so here's some uh, different ones here and i want to grab uh, this one, oh, I'll just grab it, doesn't matter on this one, I'll grab this test one, select, and I can go ahead and it's gonna go and load up just like this, so then I can pick what slide I want to insert, then it inserts these PowerPoints into the document and I can move them around, I can zoom 
right up to it at any point, getting as close as I want and I can move around and zoom right up. So that uh, adding those documents, be able to mark up, I'm, yeah, I could be showing people, they could be watching uh, online or in the front of your class, you could be using it on your, depending on whatever type of board you have. Now you can also share this out. So what to share this out, if you go back to uh, right here, the share, I can turn on the sharing link. So it's creating a link. Now all I have to do is copy this and then I can go ahead and paste an email and send it to the people that uh, want to be part of it. And that's what I'll, I'll, I'm going to do in an email. Then I'll open up two side by side. So I have two different browsers open and actually the one on the left is my, my account and the one on the right is just a test account of a different user. So I'm just going to go ahead and open a different tab. Instead of emailing, I'm just going to paste that link that I copied and I could just email it to a person to click on it. But, and this will pop up. Do I want to open the app? I do have the app on this computer, but I'm just going to hit view on the web. And at this point, so this is a different person seeing the exact same thing. So if I go, I'm going to zoom out on mine over here and on the right, if the new user goes ahead and notice if he circles here, that circle appeared here. So it's completely collaborative. You could be working together. Uh, if you zoom up and I'll just use this PowerPoint so you can see it a little bit better. If I was going to go ahead and then the person starts using the highlighter and if you watch the number three over here, you can see how things are happening in live time. So if a person, if you want to see how people are, maybe they're picking one of these numbers, so one, two, three, four, and you tell them to put a reaction next to it, maybe a thumbs up. They could take a thumbs up here, select this and drop it and I'll put it on four and you can see on four now that comes up. So it shows that true collaboration between it. Let's move over to the installed app and there's just a few things I want to show you on that one. So I'm going to go ahead and open the app on my computer. And as I mentioned, I'm using Windows 11. I can do it in a couple different ways. I have it installed so I could go and do a search for it. If I was typing whiteboard, uh, here's the app. If I go up to the settings menu here, if I go open an app and I, since I have it installed, I could go open the app uh, and I'm just going to go and hit open and it's on my other screen. So I'm just going to bring it over. Now you need to be logged into the same account uh, to see. So uh, all the things that I did on, uh, you can see all the things that I did over on the app is coming through on this one. There are some differences and I want to point out what happened here. I'm going to go back uh, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and refresh this or wait a second and here it is. So I'm going to go, uh, you can see it's called demo and it's connected because I'm using the same account up here. You can see I can sign in and out of the account if you had the wrong one in. So I'm going to go to this demo one. I just want to point out some things that have happened here and I'll just move this. Uh, notice that it says it can't show this object. What I've noticed is some of the templates that you use with the online one, they're actually more templates than the one on this one. Uh, you can use the templates here too. And if you're looking for the templates, if I go ahead and uh, go to the insert here, insert menu, uh, there are the template preview. So if I click template preview, you see all the different ones. Uh, notice that they don't have the learning uh, some of the learning ones that are there. So you're not going to see uh, if you did it on the one, it's not going to show up uh, on this one. So that's something I've noticed. Now there are a few extra options on this one. If I go to the pen tool down below, so I'm just going to click on it. Uh, take a look. We do have a ruler on this one that I can add. So uh, just to point that out, I'm just going to click on it and here. So you do have a few different options uh, on it uh, and you can take a look again, just like the pens before uh, you have all the different ones, but it's very similar to uh, what you're working with on the online version. The one thing I did notice though, uh, inserting a word on the online uh, didn't work for me. I was having an error with that, but if I go ahead and uh, I'll just click on this, if I go insert documents and you can see PDF Word PowerPoint on here, I can insert a word. So if I was just taking this one here, I can select it. And at this point I can, I can do the same thing with multiple pages. So if I only wanted the one page, I could insert it 
and here it is so this is Microsoft Word so I found this is the way that I needed to insert the word versus the online version the the version the other ones worked for me too you can see up here we can view uh, invite someone up here where the sharing just like uh, before so I could actually type people in and invite them just like that and they're going to get an invite in it here uh, we have some options here just like before we have active uh, you know the pen the ink to shape a few more options here and notice that there's post to teams right here so with the downloaded app I do say it's a little bit more powerful there's a uh, the only things that I've noticed is that the uh, some of the templates on here uh, aren't like that you get won't come through from the online version so just something to know about but you can take a look I do want to point out uh, between and we do have object snapping and under export so you can export this as an image here as high quality SVG or PNG if I jump back to the other uh, version here and I just want to zoom out you can see that that word document that I inserted there is on here now so it updated across very quickly if I go to this menus I have my uh, export just PNG on this one here too you can see good for email or it can be a high resolution one so just pointing out some of the differences i like using the app a lot of times too just because i do like that functionality but i like all the different uh, templates that they have on here now uh, right before i leave here today i did want to go over to microsoft teams uh, and if you're in a team uh, you can add this as one of your tabs so if i hit uh, just add if you do a search for whiteboard you can see you can quickly uh, add this here so uh, very quickly you can add it and hit save and you're going to have a whiteboard right inside your team you're going to have a tab in here so all those different things that I've showed you online you can have it amongst that team so if you do have your class in a team or or however you're working you can have that whiteboard to be interactive it's going to be shared amongst everybody there so it gives a good way quickly to share it so I hope you like this overview of Microsoft whiteboard as I said this is one of my favorite uh, whiteboard apps just because of the documents and the templates that you can quickly add uh, what's your type of favorite of whiteboard I'd like to know because I like to try some more too uh, that I can show other people other teachers to see if it works best for them thanks for watching this time on teachers tech I'll see you next time with more tech tips and tutorials